up guys, how you doing today? And welcome to a JD Tico short and sweet. And let's get right into it. Today we're gonna to cover, we've talked about these before on other platforms that we do, but I really wanna drill on what, we, what they are and what they do and which ones we have. And this is gonna be our JD Tico pry bar stuff, our utility tool stuff. And I, I see one's not here, but we'll get back to that one. This tool right here is a JD Tico Aero Tech Skinner. And it's a very strong, stout tool. And I believe the uh, metal it's made is 4150. Okay? And I'll tell you a quick little story about these. People are gonna say, you know, what is it? What does it do? What, do, what can I use it for? Well, it originally started out as a, an airplane skinning tool. An airplane is normally skinned with aluminum and riveted, and a lot of times you have to change a section or access or, you know, put new rivets in, take old rivets out. There's a lot of reasons why you have to get behind the skin of an airplane. And what this is for, it's very, very, you know, thin but strong where you can get in a, uh, the seam of an airplane and pry it up ever so gently. And normally, aviation technician, that's why we call it the Aerotech Skinner. Show them the smoke, Joe. They'll have more than one. They'll have five, six, eight, 10, 12 of them. Because little by little, you need to pry up the, a section here. Get down here, though. Yeah. You have to pry down a section and little by little, work it up. And at some point, you might have six or seven of these holding the skin up of an airplane. So we sell them for uh, a two pack for $25 or a three pack for $35 if you need more than one. So most of my guys are automotive technicians. They're gonna be like, well, what do I, I don't work on airplanes, Nick. I don't skin stuff. Well, the thing with, the, the thing with this is it has many uses. Interior, sometimes there's so many plastic trim pieces on cars these days, this will get in just about every spot. It's just works out perfectly for that. And we also did a limited edition run of the green handle ones. This will not pull off in a million years. It was done at the factory and the holes are filled solid now and locked in. So it's not gonna slip off when you're doing something with it ever. We did these for the automotive technicians. If you want a different color, let us know. Maybe, maybe we can come out a different color for you guys. We'll do another limited edition run. And these are $25, right Joe? No, $20 for the limited edition one. For one, 20 bucks. The first utility tool we ever did is the Jasper 123 Pry Bar. And we did these, believe it or not, the, the first time we did these, we did these as a goof, which we wanted the Jasper's picture on them. And we did, them, we did, a, we did a, a mystery envelope giveaway with them. And guys absolutely love them. So we brought these in, and we, this is one of our consistent top sellers. And this is $12. And, you know, we get a lot, we get a lot of walk-ins. When people walk into the store, the first thing they ask for, hey, let me get one of those Jasper 1, 2, 3 pry bars. And we always have them in stock. One of our favorites. Probably one of the first tools we had, we uh, labeled too. Probably the first two or three. Okay. Listen, guys. I don't rest on my laurels. We came out with this, came out with this, then this. So I always like to push the envelope and smash the gas. So we can't, I, I, this, this is something new you're gonna see pop up, but we had these, we, we found these about six months ago, ordered them and they just came in. And this is the JD Tico double dongler. And it's basically the same tool but it has the other end on it. Sometimes you need a flat, a flat pry tool or you need to access something. And I'm gonna tell you a quick little story how this saved my, not life, but saved my butt this weekend, Saturday. My daughter works for a, a designer purse company and the handle on one of her purses was broken. And she was gonna bring it somewhere to get it fixed. And I was like, you know, Mag, I said at the end of the day, I go, that's not, hang on, I'm gonna show you. I'll be right back. Real quick. This is a handle for a $9,000 purse. I know it's extreme and extravagant, but none of my business. 
This, this handle is on a $9,000 purse and the little screw broke. So I had to access it. It was a lined purse, hard, like a, like a case. I, I should so, show you a picture of it. And I had to ever so gently get the lining, separate it from this purse that's made out of, I don't know what it's made out of, like some, some kind of crazy composite. It's white, $9,000. Anyway, I used this to ever so gently get the interior pulled back so I can take the screws out. Then I had a, I should, I, I really should have filmed the whole thing, Joe. Joe, why don't you live in my, why don't you live at the house and you can film me 24 seven? So we came out to Double Dongler and I used it this weekend. There's a million uses you can use in your toolbox around the house. Uh, we had a welder in here Saturday, M MCF welding. He's like, listen, I want a Double Dongler. He goes, but when will I ever use this? And I said, I'll tell you when you could use it. I said, you're well, he goes, tell me when I can ever use it welding. I said, all right, ready? You're welding two pieces of sheet metal together and it's warping as you weld it. You can keep it straight as you weld it. You can say you're welding something up and it's not lining up perfectly. You can do a little pry action because it is so strong. There's no flex with this thing. He said, you know what? I'll take it. And while you're at it, give him a follow, MCF Welding. I watched his video this morning, him changing the section of a, of a rusted out dump truck. I would have junked it, but he fixed it. Matt, great guy, big fan. Okay, I think I covered all our utility tools. There's uh, literally, if you say to me, what can I do with this? There's a million and one things that you can use this for, from cars to airplanes to purses. All right, guys, we're gonna keep doing these. Let us know in the comment what tool you want us to review next and we'll do it, because I'm here for you guys. Like we always say, peace.